We believe that the state of American energy today is strong, but it holds even greater promise. Over the course of our history, Americans have refused to settle for less, and we don't have to settle for less now. Without question, in this election year, we believe what the American voters are saying is, give us leadership. Give us leaders who share our vision of a strong and prosperous nation, which can be built on creativity and innovation, specifically in the energy sector. We have more oil and gas in the United States than anyone ever thought possible even 20 years ago. More potential energy than most oil exporting nations in the Middle East or in other parts of the world. When we look at our domestic energy options, fossil fuels, nuclear energy, renewable alternative energy such as biofuels, we see a nation that has an abundance of opportunity for growth. At a time when millions of Americans are unemployed and underemployed, today the oil and natural gas industry supports 9.2 million American jobs. And accessing more of our domestic oil and natural gas, which is currently placed off limits by government decision, could create a new 1.4 million American jobs. One million of those would be created in the next seven years. The opportunity for more access doesn't mean just more jobs, more revenue, and more economic growth. It means what I believe every presidential candidate will be talking about in this election cycle. It means greater national security. Unfortunately, not everyone shares that vision of the energy future of the United States. Some seem to be opposed to all oil and natural gas development. These policies and this vision are failing us. They prevent us from adequately preparing for the longer term when we know our nation will still be demanding substantial quantities of oil and natural gas to fuel our economy combined with further development and progress in the form of alternative energies. We need focus. We need a clear path. The bottom line is, is that the U.S. wants to see a renaissance in manufacturing. Uh, we have to capitalize on the production of all of our energy resources. We have to be able to maximize the production of oil and natural gas as well as coal, uh, nuclear, and we also have to continue to see progress in the development of competitively priced uh, alternatives and renewables. Affordable, reliable energy. Uh, is really important uh, to the overall health of the small business uh, sector and their ability to create jobs. I mean, we're counting on small businesses in this country to create jobs and to move us back to strong levels of economic growth. Uh, we understand uh, the price that we pay as a nation to uh, uh, both in terms of, of, of money and lives uh, that have been lost uh, to, to make sure we have access to foreign energy. Um, we understand the economic benefit of job creation in this country if we have greater uh, energy uh, production in the United States. And certainly uh, there's a, you might call it a, a point of, of, of pride uh, in our nation being uh, uh, self-sufficient uh, in terms of energy uh, gives us a lot more uh, confidence going forward if we know that our energy sources are available to us right here in the U.S. We have the resources to meet our energy challenges. With the right leadership and vision, we can turn our challenges into opportunities that will make our country even stronger. That's our goal. We hope that each one of you will join us in the new energy debate in voting for energy.